Hey, it's Nina Nesky, and I want to show you how to play this song, Defender. And I'm going to do the upper room version because that's what was requested. So I'm going to go through the entire song, and then I'll go through each detail with you after I'm done.
ending so you know I did have a few mess ups and I honestly try and just do the tutorials without really like going through and practicing all the details so apologize for that but um the details now I want to get down to the details the introduction consists of two chords and it's the G and C so um what you're playing is you're playing the first and fifth of G for both the chords. So for example, and you're playing C, but you're keeping your triad on these scales. And again, G, and then C. And for the verse, you're doing that same thing. You go before. And so for the E minor, you're going to play the first and third of E minor. And the third and fifth of D. Come back and you call me my victory. And then the instrumental. You're playing the same thing, the first and fifth of G. And then verse two is the same thing. Again, E minor, and then D. And then you go into the pre-chorus, which has D over B. So this is a slash chord. And if you're confused about slash chords, I have a lesson on it. I teach on how to read them and how to add them yourself. So you have the G and with your right hand and B with your left hand. All I did was pray. And then you go to C by pressing this. So this is sort of like an inverted C. I'm playing the first and fifth of C here. So G over B, switching to C like this. Now this is G over D. And then back to C. That's the pre-chorus. And then you go into the chorus, you have your D. E minor, just the way we played it in the chorus, I mean in the verse. And then back to C. So what I'm doing here is I'm playing D. You could technically play E minor here. And then the regular C. The way I did it is I just played D and then E minor like this. And for C, I just added it, the C here. It's a lot louder when you're playing on lower notes. You could definitely switch to high notes. So like. So whichever way you choose, I honestly believe that every person has their own piano style. So definitely play around with this and find your like version of this. Okay, so it's very open-ended. This is not sheet music. This is chords. It's so nice because you can make things your own. 
And then, so that's the chorus, and depending on how loud you want it, just press on lots of keys or less keys to make it more empty and quiet, like. If you want it super quiet, or, you know, press more. So it depends. Um, and then you go into verse three, and it's a little different. So the chords are G. So now you go from G to G over B. B with your left hand. And then you have your G again. And then again G over B. You're true. Mercy is the shame. So again, E minor like this, D like that. Same thing. Pre-chorus looks the same second time around, and then the chorus, you have it super loud. And then the instrumental, when I did the song, I completely like butchered it, because I was trying to find. They include these notes somewhere in the instrumental, but the chords for the instrumental are D, E minor, and then C. And then uh, you play that through four times, D. you can go to the bridge so again I included these notes um, the only thing is do not play them during the D chord play them once you switch to D E minor and C so look how bad it sounds with D, D sorry there's just something about it I don't know so play out the D That's how I would do it. And then you go into the bridge, really quiet. You have a G over a B. You know where I left me. Inverted C. You reintroduce me. So this is a B minor. To your love C. Picked up all my pieces. So same thing here. G over B, C. B minor back to C and then you really build up on this okay get louder get louder and then eventually when you're in ready to go to the chorus you're super loud so you want to end that last third bridge really loud in order to go into the chorus very loudly. So you saw how I build up. I'm pressing on the triads a lot and I'm doing that flowy style with my left hand on the really low notes to pick up the volume that way. So that's how I would do the song. Then you can go back to the bridge, you can go back to the pre-chorus and it is such a beautiful song. Like, I don't know, I'm like so, so impacted by this song. Um, and again, if you're super serious and if you're in piano ministry and you really want to learn more and just grow in that gift that God gave you, I just released a course called Piano Ministry Course where I go through how to play during prayer, how to play during a sermon and just different situations you get thrown into as like a keyboard player. Um, so if you want to check that out, um, there's a link up above. And that is it. I'll see you in my next free tutorial. Bye.